Hello, Springfield. My name's Donnie, and you're watching Behind the Scene, Springfield's newest podcast about the entertainment industry downtown. This week, I go to Forsyth to talk to Bubba Jones about his status as a super fan, and plus he gives me some robot parts, too. Later in the episode, I've got a, an exclusive performance by the band Animal Heads. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, it's the break dancing hamster car. Yeah. Oh my God, are we building a robot or what? There's uh, there's Domi right there. That's your cat. His name is Mr. Cleo. <clears throat> I named it Miss Cleo until yeah. I found out it had testicles. Okay. Kitty. Guess what, buddy? What? I got a present for you. What? Well, I, I decided that if I was going to give you something, it should probably be some music for you to listen to. Okay. I got Mo Bandy for you. Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley. Dude, I've met Mo Bandy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, look, just good old boys. Look, holding the bag. Look, well, the, first off, you know. That, that's nice. Hamburger meat. Just good old boys. They ripped off that song from okay. Waylon Jennings. Yeah, just good old boys. Make a little love each day. Maybe to each other. Maybe. Tell Ole I ain't here. He better get on home. Ole, oh, I don't. That's Maybe that's weird. his old man. I don't know. Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man. Partners in rhyme. Uh, I met I met Mo Bandy. Uh, the same, the exact same time, literally exact same time I met uh, at the guitarist for Kiss. That same exact Justin. time, I also met, <laughs> I also met uh, Shooter, and I met uh, the guitar player for Hootie and the Blowfish that night. What? The, one of the Blowfish? Yeah, I met one of the Blowfish. Fugu. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a tripod. It is a tripod. <laughs> These, these would be fine for, so you can... It's pretty nice out here, man. You got a pretty cool view. Well, I've got to get everything cleaned up. This is my, this is my scrapping area, Donnie. Hey, look at this. We're in the 80s. Oh, man, these are home movies. I got this gigantic camera that we're... Oh my god, that thing's fucking huge, ain't it? Oh, yeah. shit. It's a shoulder mount. Where's James Craven? Where is James Craven? He, he, he needs to at least be part of, of this uh, 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 a bit resolution. Yeah, I don't know what's where, happening here. I don't know where Crave Dog went. Well, fuck, well, fuck him then. Shit. Pre President Craven. He's probably it, pushing his that His most holy button. excellency. So you've pretty much been a fan of like everything your entire life, haven't you? Uh, yeah, like all. all what started it? What started it? Yeah, what started it? Uh, I met, no, I met these two kids, uh, I can't remember their names, uh, but their dad was a performer in Branson, and I hung out with these guys, because uh -huh. my dad used to used to see this guy perform in the like 70s in California, and he came to Branson, and I, I became friends with his sons. It was just a weird thing that my parents knew this guy, and then I met his sons, and I'm like, oh, and they're like, oh, we know them. They live next to Alice Cooper. What? In, in Arizona, and they had pictures of Alice Cooper at their house for dinner. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Then they had pictures of them uh, uh, seeing Megadeth, and I thought that was badass. They planted the seed. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that'd be so cool to do that. Well, that one's autographed by Slipknot, oh, Union yeah. Underground, Dishwalla, Vanilla Ice. So my first show uh, that was not supervised by my parents was The Dead Milkman, at which I got to meet The Dead Milkman <sighs> and became hugely obsessed ever since. So what year was that? Uh... 94. 94. So you've been, I, you've been my going first, to shows and meeting famous people since 94. Since 94. My first show was in 1987, though. I saw the monkeys in Weird Al. Oh, that is autographed by Chris Daughtry and his band. One of the dudes, the newer guy on Three Doors Down. And then the next show I went to was not until 92. I saw Styx, Kansas, and Vinnie James. That acoustic is autographed by uh, uh, Joey Belladonna, Jack Frost, Tommy Thayer of Kiss, Mo Bandy, Shooter from uh, Happy Gilmore. 
And then the next show I went to after that was 94, The Dead Milkman. And I've been going to shows steadily, like, every freaking week after, since then. This one is autographed by Warrant, not the Janie Lane Warrant. Godsmack, Henry Rollins, Johnette Nalapitano from Concrete Blonde, Corey Feldman. How long have you been doing the podcast with Ed? A couple years. Well, almost two years now. Almost. Are you sure? I think it's been longer than two no, years. No, no, it hasn't. Because you guys have been doing the that podcast since I started Indymo, right? I thought you guys were did that. So you copied than, us. I copy. Oh yeah, definitely. Obviously. I just rip you guys off all the time. Bullshit, dude. I know. That's bullshit. Usually, I don't post an episode until you've already posted one, and then I'm like, well, I guess I got to get to work. <laughs> the red one is autographed by by uh, Corn. I'm all sweaty now, so I'm. It's good. This one here is autographed by Tracy Gunn, Sebastian Bach. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why I was laughing. These lights are bright. These pretzels are making me thirsty. You're freaking me out. <laughs> here, yes. to and now here are this week's upcoming shows brought to you by the Outland Complex. For all upcoming shows and events, check outlandcomplex.com. show at the front of house lounge thank you guys so much for tuning in i can't wait to do it all again next week and have more bands for you more information and uh, just more craziness thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys have a great week